Judas Priest, you got another thing coming. Check it out. There's another part I wanted to show you really quick. It's supposed to be on the clean. It'll go. There we go. Oops. Anyways, we're not going to the solo, but um, yeah, my gross youtube.com slash rocking guitar lessons one. Judas Priest, uh, this takes me back right to you know the first year or two that I started playing guitar. One of the first songs I heard from Priest, this and Living After Midnight. Tune standard for this, and it's a two guitar player parts, right? So we got Glenn Tipton and KK Downing. Um, the first thing that comes in is 2E, 4A, just an F sharp 5 power chord. We're palm muting and we're going to go 16 times. Now, that keeps going and Glenn Tipton comes in with this. 4G, 5B. 4D, 4G, I'm just barring it. And then just move it up a string, 4 on the A and D. Then we're going to go over to the second fret on the D and G. Hit the open E, hammer on to the 2nd fret, right back down to the 2nd fret D and G with our bar, back up to the 2 E, and then 4th finger bar the 4th fret on the D and G. So it's a little tricky to get used to with this jumping back and forth. When we get to the chorus, it smooths out a little, you can keep it barred. But um, So basically you're doing the... Slow that part down because that's where you're going to probably hit a little bit of a snag. A snafu! Then you start it over from the 4 5, the Tipton part. And we do this again. But this time when we end the 4 and the D and G, we're going to go right to this F sharp 5 power chord again. 2 4 E A. Part are weird too, it goes. You're gonna hit the power chord, so hit string six and five. So power chord and then palm mute twice. So and then the power chord again, and then the palm mute five times. So Or is it four times? Hold on. I think it's four times. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. No, it's five times. Then do the second fret E A. Just bar, you're already there. Um, you'll hit those two. Hammer on to make it the F sharp five power chord. You're gonna hammer to four A. So And then hit the power chord again. So then go open E four A, but uh, pick the open E first, palm muted. Then hit the low E and A string, and hammer onto the second fret E string. So we're it's really cool how they're taking these different approaches, playing in and around the power chord, coming off bars, coming off the secondary note, the fifth of the scale, hammering. It's just all different sequences. It's really cool. That part, you're going to probably have to go over a few times. And then you're just going 16 times again on that palm mute. And you're just going to repeat that. Right? That goes four times. Okay, the next part comes in. 2-4-E-A. 
five seven A D two four A D two four E A. Hit it again. Five seven A D two four four six. And then I believe it does that little riff, which I'm. I missed a few parts when I introed all this, one or two parts, um, but that's your F sharp power chord, your D, your B, your F sharp, and then you go F sharp, D, B, and C sharp. When you hear me saying those names, the, the top note of the power chord, that's the name of the chord. So if that's a, this is the F sharp power chord, that means the top note's are F sharp. This is a D power chord because the top note is a D. Just figure I'd throw that in there. All right, so... Um, and coming off that, you're going to go 2, D, and G, barred, open E, hammer to 2, back to the 2, D, G, barred, so, uh, back to the 2, E, and then the 4, D, G, barred. Now, we did that already, right? So, you're seeing how that, that's linked in to connect that part with the chorus. Okay, so... Sure, I don't know if like uh, Tipton does that and KK is just holding the rhythm behind that part or if they took that part out completely and saved it for the course. Um, through a lot of it, I know it sounds, you know, it's a simple thing what KK is doing on a lot, which is just the. Uh, but man, I'll tell you, being a kid in the 80s and growing up, it's something about that two guitar player sound. You guys know what I'm talking about if you're in my age group. Well, even if you're younger and you're into the priest and stuff. But you know, I was there when it came out and playing guitar and being new at guitar, just the impact of that two guitar player sound, one guy just holding down the power chord palm unit and the other guy playing around it. Just, I love it. I mean, it is metal. That's what metal is right there. So we're gonna move into the chorus now. And now you can bar the second fret on all the strings. Of course, we're not gonna play all the strings, but you know, if you're barring, you're barring. So. <laughs> couple things happen here. Well, the first time they're going to be the same, but I'm going to explain something what they do the second time where they extend it. But we're going to go 2 D G and then the palm muted E string up top twice. And then do that again, but palm mute the 2 E f uh, five times. So one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Get that kind of stuck in your head. Because sometimes, you know, well actually a lot of times with this guitar players, our ears hear the parts that are popping out at us, right? Which would be the chord. Which is cool, but there's a lot of times little things segueing in between to connect those parts, and that's what I want you to understand. So now here's the part that we did earlier. 2 D G hammering the open E to the 2 E. And then down to the 2 D G, back up to the 2 E, to the 4 on the D and G. Okay, so that's going to be two times. This is the first time the chorus comes in. Um, so then it's going to go back to the verse. It repeats a bunch of parts. Next time it comes to this, they do that a couple times. And then they'll take out one little note, one sixteenth note in here, and it um, you can just feel it. They'll go instead of going back to that F sharp, they leave it out. So it's that's where the drums are doing, you know, all that stuff. So. I want to do the Rob Halford, come on, how are you? But I can't get up to that high. Like maybe if someone comes over and yanks my hair, but then it might st uh, stand straight up, you know? 
I don't want my hair to be sticking straight up, you know. So, anyways, the last part. Let me let me bust this out really quick. They go to the clean channel. It's a B minor seven, second position bar chord. Bar the second fret strings five through two, or five through one. Go three B with your middle and four D with your third finger. If you're somewhat new at these chords, please play them as an arpeggio first, which means just pick the notes and make sure you can hear all five. We're good to go. We're golden. Hold on. There's the problem. Okay, so we have... Now, the next one, there's a couple names you can use for the same chord. You could call this a B minor 7, seven slash A, not the guitar player slash, but I means a bass note on the on the root, or you can call it a D slash F. No, hold on. It could be a D F. No, that, that never mind. We're calling it a B minor seven with an A bass. Take this bar and drop it down to the D string. Basically, you just want to free up the open A and do the same thing. We're clear, strum. So we have. A major, the uh, second fret D, G, and B, and play all the strings except the low E. And then F sharp power chord with the octave, so two, four, four. It's implied that it's a minor chord, like a, but they're not hitting all of them. But that would be, you know, theory wise, an F sharp minor power chord doesn't have enough notes to determine major or minor. But that's what they were going for. Two, four, four. Okay, and then you start it over. Once you get to the A, then we go to a C sharp power chord with an octave, 466 ADG. And then the solo comes in, so. I love that chorus, man. Check it, let's see. I know I knocked this sucker out of tune. Told you. Anyways, enough of that, right? Because I already uh, we just busted it out. Subgroup. I showed you a lot of parts of this song. You got the whole song except for the solo. So take your time. I know I went a little qu quacker than normal quack. I went a little quicker than normal, but because uh, I wanted to give you more parts. Take your time 100% on this. Um, you know, you listen to this song, especially us players that have been playing a while, you know, and it's like, yeah, pretty simple song. Um, I'm not saying it's all technically advanced, like Malmsteen or Dream Theater, but um, some of the beats and the way you have to jump, particularly, um, you know, the string skipping coming off the D and G string up to the low E, and really it's a memorization you know once you get the memorization part down um, you're gonna be doing pretty good and then you got to get used to some of those jumps like I was saying if you're interested in some private lessons on Skype I teach guitar and bass my wife Jolene teaches vocals um, email me rocking guitar lessons at hotmail.com and Mike at rocking guitar lessons.com also you can check my website rocking guitar lessons.com and Read up, there's some tutorials. I have that here on the channel as well. So, you know, you're here now. Go check it out. The price breakdown and all that stuff. It's probably in the description here as well. Um, basically, 60 minutes and 30 minutes per week. Same day, same time. Every week or bi-weekly is what I do. And uh, add Jolene. And if your schedule just doesn't allow for that, you can still get some lessons from me. I'm offering a paid... Um, it's basically taking lessons from me, but you're not you know we're not communicating per se they're called CBT lessons and CT lessons um, you can read up about those as well <clears throat> on my channel and the website um, handwritten tabs time stamped transcribed by ear so if you trust my ear you'll be happy if you don't trust my ear don't have me do it but I trust my ear to do this stuff I suck at a lot in life but I do trust my ear um, so 
um, you let me know what it is you want me to do. Like I said, I handle all the tabs, timestamp it, subgroup, all that good stuff, and then scan the tabs, send them to your email, and then record a video lesson. Okay, that's a CVT. The CT lesson is the same thing, but it doesn't have the video. Anyways, if you're interested in that, hit me up, read up about it, email me, and let me know um, exactly. Be real specific. Um, I prefer if you send a link. Um, just to make sure, you know, if you wanted something live and you don't tell me and I could do the studio version, that would be no bueno. So, until next time, I'm Mike Gross. Be sure to subscribe, you guys. Tell your friends, your buddies. I appreciate you. This channel is about you guys, so keep your requests coming. You got another thing coming. But I'm probably out of tune, though. Hold on. Yeah. We're just starting. My old bass player used to say, close enough for rock and roll. He really did. But this guitar, i got to get some intonation work done on it. All right, see ya.